Hi guys, welcome back to some more FTL. Uh, brought to you by uh, Mike having low fucking armor at all at the last minute. Shouldn't have done that. That was a really dumb idea. But uh, that's the mistakes you pay for. Uh, so we're back and we're, we have to ensure our hull is up to spec, which it's not. It's completely and utterly not. I don't even have scrap to repair myself. I was not expecting this in the slightest. So there's a nice uh, uh, looking guy here who's apparently going to be attacking me. He's probably about to board me, so I have to take that into account. Unfortunately, they're over here, so he's probably about to... Uh oh, no, he was dumb enough to go in here. So even though my NG is not good at combat, I'm distracting him. That's actually what I'm, my intention is to do right now. Um, so they're gonna fire, and he hit my shields, which means I now lack shields. Okay, let's get both these guys in here. So they can continue to kill the door if they want to. Door systems are not really that important to me. Oh, they decided to now go after my O2 and completely ignore these guys. Alright. Let's go continue with the shields. I don't... I kind of don't... Oh, whoops. No, no, stay there. Oh, okay, they decided to screw off, so let's get you back on weapons and go over here. And they're gonna make a get getaway, which means uh, I get to finish him off. And he's dead, that's it. Okay, I got a fair amount of scrap from that, so uh, now it's a good idea for me to go look for a store. I don't know why I'm hearing like a, a sound of a uh, <laughs> fire. It feels like I'm hearing fire. So this is this. So when my hull runs out, I obviously die, and so that's what I don't want to happen. So I'm going to be very cautious right now. Uh, I'm going to try and jump into places that will get me the most amount of options, because it will tell you where a store is. Uh, there's a pod that's a mantis. I'm going to jettison it because there's a highly there's a high probability that it will attack your your crew. So it's just not worth it. Okay, let's go to this distress beacon. Ah, so here we go. So we have a distress call. There's some kind of unknown disease on the planet. Uh, and so we there's a riot that's going on. So I can either send in my crew to control the crowds, which I actually probably don't want to do because there's a giant disease there and a riot. Well, how, how Do you think they're going to make it back from that? I don't think so. I can ignore it. Or I have actually two blue options. And the blue options are always good. There's always a good outcome out of that. So I can either send the rock member to prevent a riot or an NG crew member to calm down the infected. I'll send the... So basically, he cannot get infected, um, so he's just going to go there and calm down people, and uh, that's it. And I got a scrap recovery arm. That is fucking awesome. Look at that. That I get to collect 10% more scrap uh, from any source every time. Now, unfortunately, there's no store here. I am severely lacking in the store department. Uh, I almost expect a, a, a fight with a mantis, but there's nothing here. Uh, so, that's it. That, that was basically a, a nothing happens event, which occasionally occurs. You don't fight anybody. Uh, exactly the same thing. Store. Yes! Yes, there we go. We live. And so, uh, Rebel's are already here. For a little scrap, I can take my pick. Okay, so I can get a shield booster for all my monies. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing that. Or I can get an FTL jammer. But I think rather more, I would actually prefer to fix my ship as much as possible. Which is a huge waste of resources, but uh, it had to be done, essentially. So I did not have a choice in this matter. And now we're out of sun. Now, this one is interesting because this one actually, they're, they've already boarded my ship. Um... There's no ship I'm fighting, but they're in a sun area. So this is uh, this is my cheap ass fucking strategy that you're about to witness and, and have a whole lot of fun with. Uh, so we divert power from that. So if you've noticed, I'm venting out oxygen everywhere except for here, where the med bay is. They have to come and fight me here, and I get healed constantly. So we can go do this, let my oxygen come back on. And apparently my med bay is now damaged. This is not good. That, 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 there couldn't have been a worse place for it to fucking do this. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Because another solar flare, flare was coming in, so we can strategize and do that. 
Uh, oh, well, there's nothing here, so... And he got he got a repair upgrade. Nice. So he's better at repairing now than he was before, simply because he got experience from repairing. That's I like that a lot. Um, I actually want to talk for a second about something that I've noticed that... When I was starting to play this game, like I, I, was, I was asking people for advice, because usually that's how I learn games, is I, I ask people, I'm like, Oh, well, what's what do you think is the best way of playing this game? And... Ooh, oh, holy crap, a weapon is just floating in space. A pike beam. Uh, hot damn. Uh, so, uh, this one, th this is another, this is a beam weapon. When there's no shields up, I can uh, hit stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not actually, uh, I'm much better with weapons that go th penetrate through shields, so I might actually get rid of that when I, when I get the chance, but it's free weapon. RNG, baby. Sorry, the thing I was talking about before, uh, let me just go to the exit warp. Uh, okay. That's it. Uh, so there's life forms on a nearby planet. Let's go actually look, take a look. Uh, we are going to leave this because th these are basically the six legged horse animals. Uh, what? This is probably mantises, so you leave. We're not going to look at that because then someone will get, someone will die. And we can go to the next sector now. Let's go to a civilian controlled one just for, you know, friendlies. I've had enough of mantises. Now, there's like a whole bunch of people who are really, like, they think they know the best of what to do in this game. And they 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 give off their advice. This is an automated ship. Uh, I can't tell what's inside because no functioning sensors. We're going to just attack the ship. And unfortunately, I don't know. Uh, I didn't have the choice of knowing that there's this is a cloak. And the cloak, unfortunately, means... Uh, I can't, my weapons do not power up for the duration of his cloak. Uh, neither the railgun nor the burst laser. So, but his do, and he can fire them. So, um, you can get cloaking systems if you, if you want to, but, uh, yeah. He has everything charged. That's a long ass cloak. That's unfortunate for me. Anyways, uh, there's a lot of people who play this game and they're like, they, they come off as as dicks. I hate to say it, but they keep they give me they give me really crappy advice. Um, and like like it's and it's not even like real advice. It's like the thing is about this game is everybody p plays it in a different way. You know, one person may have gone for the doors first because like that's more important. What if their fire fucking started or something? You know, and and a lot of people who play this game come off on like there's only one way of doing it. like this is the right way of doing it when it's actually their preference. Like, I hope I'm not coming off in a way that, like, uh, that anything could be subjective. I'm just telling you what my choices are. And if you choose to play this game, you can follow those choices if you're having trouble beating the game on normal or whatever. Okay, let's go investigate the station. Heavy ion, holy shit, dude. I, so I got a weapon from the station, and this does two ion damage, which is actually, I like this. I can also reorder stuff. This disables shields and systems and things like that. This is actually nice for me to have, considering I'm a guy who doesn't like shields. Um, so, one of the things I can actually help to do is I can't actually power both weapons at the same time, because I only have two slots in my energy, so I can actually go and upgrade that. Uh, unfortunately, it'll cost a shit ton of money. Like, I, I, That's all I can do. <laughs> and I don't have enough power bars to do it, so I think I should wait on it for now. But I can actually go to a store if I want to. But I kind of want to. I want kind of want to explore all these things. So, okay, I know how I'm gonna do this route. We gonna go all the way around it and then go to it. Okay, so this is a pirate that I decided to go move in and engage, and uh, he has something called the Zoltan Shield, and what that does is this green bar is blocking. It's it's a one-time shield that's powered up by an FTL drive, so basically they can only use it once. So once this shield is gone. Uh, that's it. Uh, unfortunately, my railgun does not penetrate through that, so I have to make sure it's down before my railgun fires off. So that's actually what I'm attempting to do right now. He doesn't have really that good of weapons anyways. He's only got a pike beam and this thing, so I think I'm pretty good off for this. And, uh oh Unfortunately, he took out my, my piloting. And now he's trying to escape. I, his his FTL is delayed though. I'm gonna actually fire at that. Okay, let's get the doors next. I think dodge is very important in this. Uh, I I really like having high dodge. Uh, 
you know, and it, it's it's a game that's kind of like, um, you know, it's it is random. Like you can get absolutely fucked, and that, that'll sometimes happen. I'm actually gonna take this because I want the fuel, so I'm gonna I'm gonna allow him to live. That's the first time I let someone live. It it is it is a random game. It can sometimes be unfair to you. Uh, oh, there's intruders on the ship. Guess what I did last time. Actually, wait, it's just one guy. That's fucking lamest. Oh wait, no, there's more. Uh, we're gonna go and open up all the doors and close up these ones. Uh oh, oh, good thing I did that. The doors just died. Uh oh, all right, let me go power up uh, the med bay. That was a good strategy on my part. All right. So, uh, I need to get the NG in there to go and uh, help out with that. Because I can't close the doors until I fix that. Okay, you're good. Whew. Okay, so we're okay. Alright, well, now to put everyone back on what they were doing before. So... Uh, I was on weapons, this guy was on shields, you were on that, and, uh, yeah, you're, you're fine for health, whatever. He's missing 9 HP, so sue me. Alright, 60% oxygen will be okay, in my opinion. So let's head back down. Rebel Scout bursts out of nowhere, ugh. Okay, we are going to use the heavy ion instead because he has three three blocks of shields. Uh, that's bad for me. I don't have much of an option here. I have to basically wait for my rail. The railgun is my primary weapon in this case, so I have to hope that I'm going to do enough shield damage to his shields eventually to basically cause a lot of harm to him. And unfortunately, they just took out my weapon system, so uh, that is no longer an option. So actually, at this point, uh, waiting for my FTL drive to charge up completely is actually in my best interest. Because he's actually going to do 3 damage is not pretty at all. Uh, luckily I did do some uh, sub substantial amount of damage to him, but I still want to get the hell out of here because his missile systems are still up. Uh, great. Hi! And this guy's almost dead. Uh, we're going to get you over to mid bay. Unfortunately, I don't think there's much I could do. I just have to wait for this to charge. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. I like going through nebulas because the, the fleet does pursue me slower, so... Oh, so I can trade fuel for missiles. So that's... Um, that's some people um, give you deals like that. I'm just going to ignore it because I don't actually want missiles. I may want it later, but I don't need them right now. Okay, let's get this guy back over here. Actually, we're, we're jumping to a store next, so it's okay. Stores are... there's no danger in the system, so we're okay. Alright, um, so we can have a breach bomb, which uh, causes... Uh, so I can either have a breach bomb, which... It does uh, it's slower than a Mark 1, but breaches and does more damage to systems can target your own ship. I'm gonna take that. Because I really like... I really like the bombs. I think they're highly underrated. Uh, I can also get a hull missile, but this is for killing hulls. I want to kill systems. I want that. And I'm going to actually sell this pike beam. Because uh, I don't want... To, that's not what I'm going for. And that means now I can heal up most of my stuff. Even though I only have like 10... Uh, I only have 10 units of fuel. I think I'll be okay until the next door. I'll, I'll be fighting everything I see, so it'll be fine. Um, so here we go. We got we got a breach, breach weapon now. Good thing I saved my money, huh? It's, it's little little decisions like that that make all the difference. Um, so in the middle of Plaza Storm, we can look for survivors and equipment. This is a risky thing because it could take out some of my hull, but we'll try it. Because uh, we're going to look... Unfortunately, uh, I did salvage some things, but I took a bit of hull damage. It still was worthwhile. I didn't lose anybody, so we're okay. Uh, so let's get out of the Plaza Storm because I hate having my all my stuff at half efficiency. Uh, there's a planetary defense system is looping. Warning quarantine level 5 is in effect. And there's nothing I can do there. Some sort of disease, I'm guessing. Um, it's really up to you. 
decide what that event does. And here we have uh, someone, and they said, hey, can you give us some fuel? Sure. So I gave him some fuel, and he gave me a Pegasus missile out of it. That was a definitely a worth a trade. Uh, so it fi fires two missiles, two damage each, and pierces all shields, which is a nice, nice, nice weapon, actually. This is actually almost better than my Breach Bomb. Uh, actually, probably better. It probably is better, so... Um, I'm sorry, it probably isn't better. Like, if I actually look at the, the thing right here. This thing is actually for taking down ships. It'll pierce all shields uh, and do four damage uh, with two missiles. Uh, so this is actually Pegasus. Yeah, actually, we saw this before. Um, so it's one of the best missile types. I may sell it. I'm not too sure at this moment what I want to do. And now we unfortunately have this guy over here, who's close to his son, but he's got that dumbass shield on him, so I have nothing to do but to try and take out his shields. So he's got a bomb weapon, a beam weapon, and a laser weapon. So he missed me, fortunately. And he missed it, he missed that too. So this is where high evade comes in, I have 22% evade. Uh... I unfortunately do not have much of a choice here. Oh, great. You took out my weapon systems. Thanks a lot, buddy. I I either have to wait for my uh, shields to come back up. Uh, I, I unfortunately, I can't see where the actual fires are right now. I, I'm just gonna go fix my camera. Hopefully I'll see it then. I'm gonna let my FTL finish charging and get the hell out of here, because there's really no point in me being here. Any Anything I would get from... Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, scans indicate a, uh, indicate a large asteroid field nearby, uh, so we can either explore it, it's too dangerous, uh, which usually you'll get damaged by gaining some stuff, but you can bind the asteroids. Ooh, 36 scrap. And the fire, if there was a fire here before, it's gone now, so I, I thought there would be a fire. Apparently not. I really need to get more points into my weapon systems, but unfortunately I'm not being given that cho that option, really. Alright, well, let's let's continue going up. That was, a, that was a horrible, horrible fight. So there's a small rebel ship nearby, I can now pirate them. I pirate everything. Well, not really. So I'm gonna... So they don't want to fight me, so I'm just going to go target their engines. Once again, they have a fucking missile. This is a missile, and they have an energy weapon. This is a hull laser, I'm actually pretty sure. Um, so it'll do one... It'll do more damage to my sh my, my hull, but... Uh, fortunately enough for me... Uh, I'm just going to go with an atmosphere. Even though it's my O2... It's really... I have nothing to gain by, by fucking trying to fight this guy. Unfortunately, I have my evade is actually probably one of my more important things I have at the moment. Come on, railgun, go! I choose you. Yes. He really just doesn't like my O2. What a prick. Hopefully, I can fix this all in one go. I can actually target his that right now. What an asshole! All right, let's go in here and uh, not put things into, I need oxygen now. So I hope you're actually seeing how much strategy is actually involved with this game. Like you have to divert power from things and like, you know, it's just a whole risk thing. So, you know, maybe I don't do everything correct. Uh, it's very possible that everyone has a different play style here. Um, I, I acknowledge that. Yeah, but the, you know, this is just the way I play it, and it's it's I have a lot of fun with it, um, and, and I'm, uh, it's unfortunate. It's a game I actually didn't discover until very recently. Uh, I didn't actually support it on Kickstart, and I actually completely ignored it until like uh, Ken and Cadlos forced me to play it. They're like, "Fucking Mike, you have to play this." And then I couldn't put it down. I did like streams. I could not put it down for like a good week or something. So I have two options. I can either go to the directly to the exit or answer distress beacon. I'm actually going to go directly to the, the exit because I don't really want to fight the, the ship there. It just doesn't seem worth it to me. Uh, there's a ship here, so let's go attack it to autom something about automated storage. Sorry, I didn't. I promised I'd read that, didn't, didn't I? Okay, let's put more power into evade. 
Okay, our target is weapon systems. Fortunately, I now have no shields. And now we have no evade whatsoever because of this. So, hopefully I'll take out some of his weapons with that volley. Okay. We got we got half of our evade back, and now we have it fully back. And he's... So there you go, two misses. That's why I love it. I love the RNG, just like, just because I like... It's, it's a game where the skill comes from you can put the RNG slightly more in your favor, and that can make you win. Once you know what to do... That was a terrible fucking spread. Thank you very much, game. Ugh. I'm just gonna keep targeting his weapons. I don't want him to shoot at me anymore. And this guy has gotten better at uh, weapon systems, so he's charging it now 14% faster. Or something. Something along those lines. So, I, I consider crew members to be one of the most valuable assets because you do train them. So I try not doing anything that would jeopardize them, to be honest. Okay, and so we we go to the station and we gather some fuel and scrap. That's kind of nice. To the next sector. Uh, so to NG controlled, because NGs are kind of cool. They're they're a race of non-humans. They're just nanites. So we've arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Well, that's all the time we have for today. And next time we'll just go explore some NG space and shit like that. So see you later. Bye.